No, I stay in a no relationship with a woman. I'm not comfortable around my kids. You see me? No, I stay in a no relationship. No, I compromise my relationship with my kids because of a woman. No. Good afternoon, guys. I don't have much on this topic, but um, based on the question, if he's the person is not compatible around my child, um, in the relationship, it must be a reason why you're not compatible. First day I would have find out about the reason why he's not compatible. When I hear it determines based on the reason the reason um why the person is not compatible with my child. Well, I don't think I might stay in the relationship because I'm not going to choose in between a person and my child. No, I don't think I would have actually stayed in the relationship. But then it depends on what the person say. Um, then I'll make a decision from that. But if he's behaving a certain way or he or she's behaving a certain way around my child and they're saying they're not comfortable in a relationship regards to my child, well, no, I'm not going to stay. To be honest, I'm not going to stay, honestly, because I'm not going to choose anybody over my child. No. Uh-uh. Afternoon, people. Well, straight off of the bat, if I'm in a relationship and my girlfriend or doesn't like my kids or she feel uncomfortable around my kids well I have to end the relationship because she's having a problem with my kids because if it's a problem where she doesn't like my kids well it just have to it just not go nowhere understand because if she have her kids and I'm seeing her I'm gonna show her kids respect so the same respect I'm showing her kids I think I, I don't think there should be respect for mine also so if it's a case where she doesn't feel comfortable around my kids well she's not gonna feel comfortable around me because I want her to be a part of these children's life growing up. So if she have a problem with them, well, I guess it got to end. Mm, yeah, I'm going to touch it up, I'm answer your first English. But suppose that the kids them cause she if you not feel uncomfortable. You're going to make the kids them direct your life and how to make your life run. Because you have kids that still say, you know, because they don't want you to be with somebody, you know. They want you to be with the mother, you know. They want to go and put up bad face. And then the repercussion will come or, or the reciprocate. The, 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 your, your spouse or will reciprocate the same feeling. You understand? So you can say that. So you have to cut out the relationship. You have to find out, create a balance and find out what. Because it will reach that situation. Yeah, I'll touch the topic now. All right, I'm not going to make nobody direct my life. It's who you love, you understand? I will love you. And you look upon the characteristics of your relationship and how to make it work, you understand? You're not going to make a child um, direct your life. If you love the person, the person loves you, and then you can find out what caused it. But if the person just, if, you, if your spouse just come into your life and just decides to eat your picnic, then, well, we understand that you can't put them out, but you have to find out what caused the hatred first. You can't just jump to conclusion and put out woman or man, basically, out of your life without getting the foot the, 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 the foot in, in a relationship. Yes, my boss. <clears throat> I've been through that one already, my brother. I've been through that one there. That's why I'm, if the kids are the problem, then we'll have to live with it, you know, because guess what? My love for them is always there, you know. I understand. And there's someone else, right? But if definitely they are the one that doesn't feel comfortable, I got to end it. I understand? And it's not like something I'm going to try. I am going to try. I am going to try. But if I'm trying for both, individ for both parties to be comfortable with with each other and she's putting up and said well she can't tolerate with this well 
just got to end. Oh, yeah, for real. I love my kids. And I love my kids. No, no doubt about that. I love my kids. But if my kids are not coming to my, my relationship and decide to guess what, because they don't like the person, they're going to mash up my relationship. No, it's not going to work. I love them, but it's not going to work. Listen here. At the end of the day, they're going to find somebody and they're going to move out. And I'm going left alone. And get in the house here and say, Guess how many mash up that life they're going to stay? No, they're not going to do that. Them gone out and feed them home. So listen, yeah, me now make a child come and shut my relationship. I think this is supposed to be a different topic too, you know. <laughs> that, that, but I is one topic every year. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely, if I the child or the problem here cause in a relationship, then me now go make them come in come and shut. But if I the if I the woman and mash up my relationship, then me have to go part. For me, um, while dating this person if I think it's going to be on a serious relationship, I'm going to introduce that special person to my kids, our child, and um, try to let, to let them get to know each other and see where it comes, you know, where everything falls in place. And if everything falls in place, fine. But if... I'm seeing that the person don't like kids or don't like my kids. It To me, there's no further, you know, relationship or try to get to each other, get to know each other anymore. And at the same time, I'm going to, when I'm introducing that person to the kids, I'm going to let them know that that person is not there to take their mother's place um are their father's place but you have to let them know that you know it's like a second mom or a second dad they're not there to replace anyone but they're just getting extra love and attention and if it works or if she don't still don't like my kids uh, or you know things don't work out it just don't work out it's bye on the topic um is your boyfriend or girlfriend if your boyfriend or girlfriend isn't comfortable around or doesn't like your children do you stay in a relationship i don't even think this is a question if my partner does not like my child or children then i'm not in a relationship this is a situation ship so you know when the situation ends it ends but at the end of the day my child is mine it's a part of me you know if you have a challenge or a problem with my children then pfft, you know, it was good, but have a great life. But now I put nobody over my pity them. That or that. No, for them woman, they are dirty woman. They won't go love the man them for what they have. Oh, you feel there with a man, man, the man have pity which is not here, but you love the man and you don't love the pity them. That can't work out. When you left and gone, the pity them now left. And if them even left and gone, then still I remember, say, boy, I have a father around us. You see me? Any woman. Whether a woman or a man, they with any of the sex and uh, the person not like them pick me, just take away from that person there. Because they don't like you. It's just who they can get from you, they like. You hear that? I take on that part, you know. Let me tell you, you must know your pick me. No people really don't know them pick me. So, you know, I understand what I want to say. Um, but, you see, if you know your children and you know the type of children you have, because... It takes it, it takes me a while before I introduce the person I'm dating to my children. I have daughters. So I'm not just get up and introduce any everybody. Cause me know maybe me like you will go to them and me nobody like you again because you did pick out your nose hole or something. So it takes me a while for really get to know you and feel comfortable myself with you. Feel like this makes sense for you to be introduced to my children, right? So I introduce it to my children and I mean, know, sometimes people pick up on vibes that you as a parent won't pick up on because you have stars in your eyes and butterflies in your belly. I mean, I'll fight with that. I mean, no, my kids, my kids are not problematic children. They're not liars. They're not, you understand? Because you have all kinds of kids. Let's be realistic about life, right? But if you take up the person and you know, you're and the person together and they're not comfortable with your kids and they're not making an effort to try to get to know your children, nor is your children. Make if, if there's no middle ground, there's no meet in the middle, and let's agree to disagree with whatever it is that we're having a children challenge with, then 
a relationship really can't go far because i mean i understand that you know there's going to be a point where my kids are going to grow up and leave and then i'm going to be left with my partner but my kids are a part of me all women pick me at 50 that is a part of me so if my child should come and 50 years old and say mommy I'm having a challenge with this my instinct is going to kick in to want to assist my child even though she's an adult you understand so me have to always look on the fact say all right what if me ignore my pit and say other man and then when you take a stop my pit did right what then you see what me i say no matter what happened in life you can always have your kids are you going to always have your partner you can put on your money from the table and say yeah you know but your pit in them is for a lifetime, no matter how long or short that lifetime is. So, if there's no concerted effort from all parties involved to meet in the middle, then the choice is going to always be my kids. I'm sorry, but that is really how it is. But you go both ways, same way. Because if you have a kids, them and the kids don't like the, the, the woman, where you expect you got Everybody ever get uncomfortable. So, if the kids don't like the woman, just like how you take away from the relationship, you can take away from the, from the relationship when the kids are like the woman, same way. You get me? It's not like you put the preference over your kid. But the end of the problem between you and she or she and the kids, them, you see me? You do likewise. Simple. You know, that is so... I don't even know for, for comment on that comment, um, MLB. Let me see who said it. No, that was the other person. I'm sorry. All right, let me, let, me, let me elaborate a bit. And this is just me playing the devil's advocate, right? You get involved with a woman. You have your son, she has your daughter. Now go on the relationship, go on good. Your baby mother is a bit of baby mother. Because remember, say, them that they are old. You understand? So that is where the woman has to deal with. If it come in, it means a mother's child. The picnic him is, is in mother's child and do everything under the sun to make your woman uncomfortable when you're not around. How does your woman cope with that? You understand? What if your woman picnic is like them papa, one like a wicked boy? And anytime the mother not around, she had do the things them to you. And the mother now see that part of the or oh, you work out that are you going to be comfortable around that child especially if your woman have a female child that is prone to lying and that people might tell that say a touch her or oh, you work out that and the mother believe everything that the child say the topic is tricky because you understand you deal with human nature and see human beings <laughs> are some fun little something them be let me tell you that you understand it's a very tricky topic because your partner might be uncomfortable with your children or your child because of behaviors displayed when you are not around and because you're not used to this type of behavior when your partner explain it to you i wonder if they might tell true or true they're not like the picnic but you know see why or what is leading up to this you understand as well as the child might be telling you that your partner is doing this but you've never seen this part of your partner you you yeah wonder well, if i lie to my tell panim or i lie to my tell panim or i can't true they're not like the person or true the, I, I, your mama tell yourself to behave so you know or your papa tell yourself to do them something you know you understand because remember so the parent or the child grow will have an influence on the child and on the child's behavior you know and you have a lot of bitter baby mothers and bitter baby fathers out there you know we have to remember these things you know so it kind of tricky but for me because I understand the children that I'm growing so for my child be uncomfortable on a person and that person is not making an effort for you know it's a it's a, a hard no for me but what about those other situations that are not like mine Cheers. Uh, right that's the way you just say that's the way you say right that's a, that's a complicated thing at the end of the day it's like a competition I go on between you and the kid for, for the mother love you see me and if it reach a stage where the, the kid uh, the kid uh, uh, tell lie I guess you said the kid a scheme against you. Me, 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 me tell any man this where's a girl pick me. Lift up man. You see me because the end of the day you don't want your name called for none of them things. And, and kids can be be really mean when they come on to them things they them want to get, get back at you. And worse, the mother, the mother take anything on them say. It don't make no sense to stay in a relationship where you have vibe for the mother love. You see me? 
confusion. You don't want to know how we're confusion there, isn't it? No, if it's a situation where it go up on the other side and fear child I let me uncomfortable me. I go talk about it and we go try to find some way to work around it. I work with it. Either you work with it or you work around it. And if it not work in the way how you try to get it, then we have to go just part. You see it? And it go vice versa. If I'm my child and she uncomfortable and I try to find a way to make it work. I work with it, I work around it, and it now work. Well, we have to just do a part. You get me? I now go put nobody over my youth, them still wrong or right. You get me? I go try to make my youth know, say, watch out. Certain situation or certain things you're not supposed to do in our present or whatever. You get me? But I now do like some people, because at the end of the day, the woman can pack up and go on. And when you realize that yeah, you would play for alone. You get me? I agree with you on that a hundred percent, you know, but I will come back and rebut. I remember me tell me I play the devil's advocate that how it wants what it wants. So you as a man and you know say you're a good man, you do the right things. You go try for the day and try for you show the mother the right thing. But as me say, you have some picnic out there, may I tell you say you come like a demon for them who get them, may I tell you the truth, man. I we have to, me know about some you know, but me realistic about life. I see life on different spheres, right? I see, I don't make a mistake for no it, you know. I just want to see somebody make a mistake and say, all right, one stone down there, sir. Remember where you go, look, say, in a bucket to her, to her, man, they just make a bucket him to her, pop off him boot front. So, I don't have to make the mistake. I see people make the mistake many a times. You know, so because look on it, you're there with the height. I get a realistic here, something will happen to me. Where are you? And me and him are going to ping pong and we are doing a little thing. And we are happy. You know, me have my girls. One of my daughters is an adult, so she doesn't live with me. My other child is 11 year old. And we are doing a thing. He might be a good little father, stepfather to the child and all of these things, right? My baby father, him don't have a problem in the world because me, me, from we left, we left. <laughs> there is no an if, but sorry, maybe there is no going around, no canon, no, no, we left. From we left, we left. I eat that. You understand? So, if it not have to do with the child, may not have a conversation with you. If we're not talking about the child that we created together, we all need to talk. Yeah, so I don't want a friend from you. Boom, you have a baby mother. My mama just talk about them people they come like a demon for them. Mama get them. She is one of them people. She come like a demon for fear. Mama get her. I mean, this girl is a spawn of Satan. She and him left years now. But you know them people they're not happy, you're not happy as so. Anytime the man look like him have like a happiness, she pop up like a Satan. And she are going with her bag of bag of bag of bag of bag of things. Like this girl, the type of person she is, she will go fight somebody, Kiara Pitney, that is 12 13. When them lick him, she will call my spouse to say, that per oh, him end up in a this situation and him is a baby them time them. But every other t no. When she had cost both the child with my spouse, him is a baby. When she had go fight, him and a baby. I say, why oh, you work out this and then me in the middle, because me and this man together, so when the child comes to my house, I have to know me have to walk my eggshells round him because as him father said to me, say, him is him, him is his mother's child. So you have to know what you are doing and whatever, whatever. This is a little uncomfortable situation. I'm going to try to make the most of it because I'm involved with the, the, the man. The man and me have a good relationship. My daughter have a good relationship. The little boy, if given the opportunity, would be a great child. But the type of mother he has, now give him the opportunity. And she she not want to give him the child, but she not want the child herself. So. You see the situation right there's so complex, complicated and miserable. But everybody I fear try or everybody on my end I fear try to make the best of it. You see how complex that can be? No, what me tell you say, I say, listen, all things just going can go like that, you know, because you know you have a child with this woman, certain things in you know, unafe. You know, really upon certain you say, eh, eh, eh. Me no I have no conversation with her because every time I talk to she or the child she talk about you. Like me, help me reach for this. Now this is a realistic situation. 
how do you tip to around this? Because remember, so the child have to come to my house because regardless of whatever, you know, a theme, pit, you know, so I go set him say, oh, how come you know, see the child? How comes, you know, where's your son? How comes X, Y, and Z, this and that? Um, how comes this? Ray, where are going so Call him because he needs to come to whatever. Because I am a mother. If my pitney, if it's good for my pitney, good for him pitney too. I am a mother. So if my pitney I go a a Jamaica zoo, I say, we your pitney day? Cause a fire driving, you know. We have to go care one scandal about with some newspaper put them chest and them something there. Cause we are gonna go together as a family. Me I say, okay, man, wanna go some in a business? No, I'm not that person. But then the type of person we have to interface with sometimes makes it hard for you to want to include the child. Yes, so I said the bitter baby mother drop in.